You know, when this COVID-19 pandemic began, for many of us, it may have been more an intellectual exercise than anything else. We might have heard about it in other countries, even alarming numbers and alarming death rates, but it was staying away from our shores. And then we began to hear more and more about how it was coming closer to our country and then in our country. We began to hear about the need to social distance. We began to have restrictions placed on us, no more than 250 people in one space at one time, and then no more than 50 people in one space at one time, and then no more than 10 people in one space at one time. Now, we have been instructed to remain in place unless we are an essential worker. And for us, that once intellectual exercise has become very personal. For I'm sure for most of us over the past couple of weeks, we have heard about those in our area who have become affected by the virus and who may have died. And many of us may know people who have died from this virus as well. It is extremely important that we do everything that we can to remain socially distanced so that we could keep the spread of this virus down in order to give those who are affected every opportunity possible to receive medical help. When you have been out, perhaps to go grocery shopping or for some other quick business, you have probably seen the toll it is taking on our society as well. I know for myself the other day I had to go to Jewel to purchase some groceries and I noticed all the hash marks outside, six feet, six feet apart, where we had to stay so that we could keep distant from the person in front of us and behind us as people were let in slowly into the store in order to maintain a certain capacity. The looks on many of the people's faces in the store, both customers as well as employees, said a lot. The employees especially I felt so bad for they all looked so stressed. They all looked so distant. Many of them I could hear being browbeat by other customers who were unhappy about the situation. It's not the fault of the employees that we have restrictions placed on us. And the faces lit up whenever you would engage with them personally and thank them for being there and doing their job for us. Those are the things that we can do for one another. We need to be there for one another in order to help break some of the stress and tension that so many people are living under nowadays. When you have to go out, and make sure it's something you have to go out for, the people you encounter, greet. Treat them personally because they are under incredible stress. I pray that this pandemic end soon, but I think we all realize soon is not going to be a couple of days. Soon is going to be a lot longer than that. So let's pray for one another that we can maintain our sanity, if you will, that we can keep the stress level down in our own personal lives as well as in our family lives. I'm sure there are many houses that are really coping with a great amount of stress as everybody is cooped up inside. The weather hasn't helped a whole lot lately it is, as it has been cold and rainy. Once it's a little nicer, we can at least get outside and work off some of that energy. Whatever you do, take some time to de-stress. One of the best ways to de-stress, pray. Spend some time with God. That is never stressful. It is always peaceful and calming. Pour your heart out to him and let him share your burden for a while. God bless you this day and every day of your lives.